Hey everybody, it's Aggie, it's me, and I'm back. I'm mixing my resin and getting ready for um, putting the resin on these hearts that we did last night. So welcome. I'm gonna turn this camera so it's right reading. There you go. Well, you can almost see my little sign up there. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Last day of May. Can you believe it? Are you ready for June? I am. Oh. June is my birthday month. That's become a thing now, right? Birthday months. <laughs> Like, do I have to torture? I can torture my husband the entire month long that uh, we have to celebrate my birthday. It gets to be a bit much, right? <laughs> I mean, I can't even think of anything I want for my birthday anyway. Oh, you know what I forgot? Hey, Michelle, I forgot my iPad. Let me go grab my iPad super quick. I'm so sorry. So I can see comments. I knew I forgot something. Be right back. <coughs> Back. I got my iPad. <laughs> well, we are a few minutes early. I'm supposed to start at six. Hello, hello. Of course, Charlie had to follow me upstairs, and then he gets in front of me and walks too slow when I'm coming back. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Welcome. Whew, a little out of breath from running up and down the stairs, so. Hello, hello. If it's your first time here, say hello to me. Let me know where you're watching from. I got the camera up a little bit high. I'm gonna fix that in a minute. And by all means, let your friends know. Share this with them. Uh, you can also share it. If you share it with yourself, you'll be able to refer back to it later. And I'm gonna show you another heart real quick. We'll throw one together, a beachy heart on a six by six ceramic tile. Trying to see comments here. Here they are. And um, I'm mixing my resin. Michelle Gorgeous is in the house. Yay. So you know what? I'm just going to turn the camera down and just get started, right? Uh, if I can do that. Hold on. Before I get resin all over my fingers. Of course, when I touch my... Um, when I touch that, my holder, it I, it winds up turning the lights off. <laughs> Just is so unfortunate, but oh well. Okay, ooh. Okay, got it right. Now I'm gonna pull this up, because obviously I don't have it high enough. And we might even go a little higher, and of course, my neighbor is out doing the weed whacking right now. <sighs> it's always something, right? Do I have this the right way? Hey, Shelly. How are you, Chica? Um, let's do this. There, there we go. Happy day after Memorial Day. So I use this tracer. I just created this and sent it to the members. If you want one, Give me your email address and I will send this to you. Comes in pretty handy for making these. I better stir my resin. I put this together a few minutes ago and um, I need to stir it for four minutes. So I've got uh, enough to do uh, several of these hearts. I, I decided I'm gonna do another one, uh, a beachy one. And I've got a few different things here. So I'm gonna ask your opinion and we'll create this together. How does that sound? Hi. So I've cut another piece of cork, and this stuff is from Dollar Tree. 
It's got an adhesive backing to it, so it's totally awesome. Uh, oh, a tech challenge day for you, Shelly? What happened? Oh, I hate that when that happens. Every once in a while, they, they sneak up on us, don't they? Those techie days. Oh. So I am stirring my resin, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. And um, this is KS resin. So you have to mix it for about uh, three minutes at least. And of course, I got quite a few bubbles in there, but I'm not worried about that. I'll use my heat gun to get them out. If you are new to resin, welcome, welcome. Uh, we have a lot of people in my membership that wanna learn how to use resin effectively. And we are all about that. We're all about helping you with that. But mostly we concentrate on making really nice pieces of gorgeous, sparkly glass and resin art. Some people call it mixed media art. I don't know, I like calling it glass and resin art. So you can see now that it's pretty clear. It was cloudier, but now it's pretty clear. I have scraped my sides every once in a while and kind of dig into the bottom of the cup to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. You want it completely mixed and yeah. If, if your hand is hurting, yeah, that's a good sign. That means you're, means you're working hard, right? <laughs> and we don't want these separated bits of resin at the top of the cup, because later on, if you, try, if you try to swipe from the side of the cup to collect resin and it's not stirred, it's not totally mixed, then you're gonna have kind of an uneven little splotch of resin on your project, and you don't want that. You know, you want it thoroughly mixed and you don't want unmixed portions on the side of the cup. And you know, it's easy to forget about that, right? Okay, so let's do another one really quick. This is so, if it's your first time here, hello, hello, welcome, I'm Aggie. I'm so glad that you are here with us. We're just gonna do uh, resin on these hearts that we made last night. Here's one that I did last year. And this is a six by six inch ceramic tile from Home Depot and they work out to be about $1.70 each. And they're super nice. I, I have this one displayed in my living room on this easel, which I found on Amazon. These are great easels. Um, if you want the link for that, just comment below, tag me. My name again is Agnes Friedlander, and I will send you the link for where you can find those. I'll, I'll send you what, the, what it's called. So here's what we did last night. We did these three hearts. This is cut glass. This is um, USA seed bead mix from Hobby Lobby, size six slash O. That's all that is. And three little stars that I had in my stash from probably 20 years ago. <laughs> and these are more seed beads. Uh, the white is seed beads. And the uh, red are um, vase filler that I colored myself with um, Tim Holtz alcohol ink. I can never remember if it's Tim Holtz or Jim Holtz. Somebody help me out. Hola, Wilson. Yeah, the tiles are nice, aren't they? Something different. So I colored that with, I think, Poppy Fields alcohol ink. And that's what I have in the red stripe. The blue area is another uh, little batch of vase filler that I used. By the way, this is from Michael's, this stuff. Comes in a jar. And I used two blues for this, denim blue and sailboat blue. Like, uh, I think five or six drops of sailboat blue and 10 drops of denim blue to about half a cup of base filler. And um, threw that in there. And then the stars are also a bead mixture that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this is that bead mixture. It's just called Plastic Bead Mix by Bead Design Company. I love these beads and I get them. Every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I always go check out this aisle. Uh, they don't have the little chunky hearts anymore, you guys, the silver and gold chunky hearts. If you happen to see them, here's what they look, I love these. I love, 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 you can kind of see them in here. Let me get it close. 
they are not selling these anymore. These are called Chunky Hearts, and oh, I'm kind of heartbroken, <laughs> pun intended, that, that I can't find them anymore. So if you see them, please let me know. I would buy them from you. I, I love those. Um, <clears throat> all right, let me check comments. Terry, hello. Monica, hello. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do really quick. I'm gonna throw together a beachy one with you, okay? So here's, I just grabbed this from my garage. I guess I should get this camera a little bit in a slightly better position, sorry. Um, maybe even closer, huh? Okay, so here is um, another six by six. We're just gonna clean it off really quick with some isopropyl alcohol and a little towel. Let me grab my alcohol. Where is it? Because you know me, I had to do another one. <laughs> oh, that's water, not alcohol. Hold on. Grab the wrong bottle. So how many of you guys have this stuff? Have you ever purchased this stuff from uh, Hobby Lobby? And wondered what the heck to do with it. I was thinking we might use that tonight. What if we just did a heart with that and then put some, a shell or a starfish on top of it? Would that be a cool uh, beachy vibe? So that's all I did. Just wipe it down. You want to remove any fingerprint oils or you know factory oil that might have been on there and I'm just going to turn it over let me use the towel as a kind of clean surface, semi-clean anyway. And I'm going to take this glue backing off of this. This is my cork, 6 by 6 inch piece of cork um, from, <laughs> this is a little hard to do with gloves on, that I got from Dollar Tree, five quarter store, no longer a dollar, right? Everything's five quarters. The five quarter store. I got that off TikTok. <laughs> Calling it that. I'm like, that's a clever name. Uh, let's see. Oh, that'll. you think that'll be pretty? Yeah. Uh, Sandy from North Dakota, welcome. Thanks for telling us where you're from. Welcome, welcome. A lot of the ladies that you're going to see here tonight are, are, we're all friends. They're in my membership group. I, I just kind of teach these classes on um, how to improve your paintings. And then we focus on creating glass and resin art because we all just love it so much. We love that sparkle, right ladies? Give this a stir every once in a while. So this, this stuff, the open time on this resin is about 45 minutes. So don't let me babble too long, you guys, because you know me, I will. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Look what I got. <laughs> By the way, these are at Dollar Tree. So, you know, we're always sharing information with each other. There's 106 of us in, the, in my group. And we're always sharing little tips and tricks and storage is a big issue. And you've probably seen these at Dollar Tree, but I, I grabbed a couple. They seem like the perfect size for all these crazy shells I've been buying. So I bought a couple of these from Dollar Tree. And then the other day I included this in one of our classes. I don't even remember what it was, but I told you that I got these shell, oh, in the flag, in the US flag that I just did. Do you remember that I told you guys that I got these from Hobby Lobby? Guess what, I lied. They're from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, what's the diff, right? Well, I, I don't know. You know, it all kind of merges together after a while, I buy so much stuff. So anyway, that's where these are from. And um, this would make a really cute flag, right? You could put down stripes of maybe these shells against these shells. You could just make it a striped heart. It doesn't have to be a flag, um, like stripes. And then put um, a bigger shell in, in a corner or in the center or something, or even just a starfish. So they have these starfish also. I think there were three in a pack. And when you really look at them, they don't look great, but they'll do. I mean, they'll do. They're pretty good. These are from uh, Dollar Tree also. And I, I think it was three in a pack. It's in a little mesh bag. 
Um, and then the other thing, what about this? Wouldn't this be really pretty on one of these pieces? This I bought, I didn't spend $15 on it. I bought it half price. But that would be adorable, wouldn't it? You say that every time. Shelly is always saying that she never finds, hey, Carolyn, that she never finds cool stuff at, at Dollar Tree. I'm going to have to go to your town and let those people have a piece of my mind. <laughs> All right. So what do you think? Now it's the, I'm going to ask your opinion. I need your decisions. I need your opinion here. What are your hearts done on and what size? Oh, thank you, Sandy. These are six by six inch. Oop, I accidentally hit a thing inviting you on camera. I didn't mean to hit that. <laughs> These are six by six inch ceramic tiles from Home Depot. And I, I bought a whole box of them a few years ago. I, I bought them for my alcohol ink classes. So they're great for that too. But um, yeah, I've used seed beads and we're talking about shells right now. So what do you think, you guys? Should we do this? Just dump these all on here and make it a heart shape and put this on top? That would be a real simple thing. Should we just do that? Oops, sorry, I'm not even on camera. Oh. Um, 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 um. Michelle says, I still can't find the starfish or sand dollars. You know what? I could get you some, Michelle, and send them to you. Vanessa, I have the same issue at my, yeah. Um, I know. Dollar Tree, we need you to get it together. All right. I'm just going to make a decision then, unless, you, unless somebody um, says otherwise, super quick. Um, the other thing you could do, I'm just going to show you some more ideas. Um, you can use this. You can dump this all out and make this the shape of a heart. Um, and they also have this color, you know. Or you can make stripes of these two. You can make a striped beachy heart and then put a big, something bigger in the upper left corner, like we're doing with the flag. You know, for instance, this might look really cute, you know. Maybe a piece of jewelry or something. Um, what's the question? The question is, <laughs> hey, Anna, the question is um, for our beachy heart that we're going to make, should I use stripes of these shells or should I just use this and put this on top? I kind of think I'm going to do this. I think this is going to be easy. Oh, Michelle, I had a feeling you were going to say that. Michelle says do the striped blue and tan. Scattered blue and tan runs together. All right, let's do that. It would be more beachy if it's not this crazy vibe, right? Okay, let's do that. You think I should just scatter them? <clears throat> I also have these, this color. Let's just put a bunch out there and see what happens. What do you think? Oh, I hope these aren't going to be difficult to open. Oh, no. <laughs> I got I to gotta remove the corks. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Did you hear the pop? The only bad thing about this is there's a little bit of um, debris that comes out. But you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna deal with it. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, a few of those. Let's put out a few of these. Hello, come out of there. Come on out of there. What you could do is just blow this debris away. Right? Oh, this is a weird looking shell. All right, so then without getting too crazy, and I know some of us like to get real crazy, we're just gonna flip all these this way. And that's the one's too gray. And then this has some blue shells in it. These are really pretty. And I'm not gonna use glue this time because we don't really have time. We don't wanna have to wait for the glue to dry. So I'm gonna try and just mix it up a little bit. And I'm gonna get a few of these shells also. Can you guys see okay? We're gonna need something sparkly in here, though. I'm, you know, gotta have the sparkle, right, you guys? 
So maybe I'll throw um, a few pieces of, of glass on here or uh, what are your ideas of what else I could throw on here to make it sparkle? So um, I'm thinking about where I'm going to put, oh, that's so big. I need, I need something darker. Okay, so contrast is always our friend. <laughs> sand wouldn't work. We could throw sand on there, but yeah, we need that bling, girl. Got to have that bling. Uh, okay, I like these. These are dark and give us some nice contrast. All right, what else, what else? Glass, we gotta have some glass. Okay, let's grab some glass, super quick. Just, uh, okay, what color, clear? Clear? Maybe that's not enough. Maybe just a little bit of um, that pale greenish glass that I have somewhere. Where is it? Um, oh, I know what would look good too. It would be a few pieces of that um, like pale bluish glass. I'm just going to toss some of this on here. That's helping, right? And then maybe a few pieces of that pale blue glass, right? Where is that? Where's my pale blue glass? Mm -hmm. um, the vase filler. we go nice 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 okay so then we just want to kind of try to shape it a little bit this is cute a little a little piece of um, glass fell in there you know what you could do you could even put a couple of them right side up and throw a pearl inside the shell but of course you know me I'm getting I always like to get too crazy This isn't helping right here. We need this to be a more pointy. There we go. All right, let me know if you see any spots I need to fill in more. Okay, and then this is gonna go on top. I think that'll work. was a weird piece anyway remember very weird piece so what I'm what I'm discovering is if I have a light a light shell on the out on the outside just take it out and put some glass looks better okay what do you think better get rid of these clear ones there's just a few pieces of this green that looks a little isolated, but I guess it's okay. All right, are we good? Look how quick and easy that was, right? Okay, so now what you could do is use your, your um, popsicle stick and just kinda whip it into shape a little bit if you need to. And I might have just a bit too much on here, but I don't know. I think I like it. 
Let me look at the comments, see if you see anything I should do. Darker blue in the top center. Okay. Here? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. All that. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you, thank you. See, um, so what, what's happening there is we're using that principle of you guys are able to see things from a distance. And so you have a better sense of perspective because you're actually seeing it through the camera. It kind of flattens. Oh, it's a weird shape kind of flattens things out for us, which can kind of be to our advantage when we're deciding on things like this. So that's why I like asking you guys, because you can see it from a different perspective than I can. I have a tickle on my nose for some reason. Yeah, I guess I didn't necessarily like that clear. <laughs> I might have just a tiny bit too much stuff on here. I really love this shell right there. Man, that is so cute. All right. Are we are we okay now? What do you think? Is it decent? Are we decent? This should point inward. <laughs> Right? Don't have things pointing outward. Let's flip this one over. Oh yeah, pretty. They really do look better when they're flipped over, these weird guys. All right. Oh my goodness, get on there and stay, will you please? Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, look at this one. Oh, there we go. I mean, for not using glue. Now, what you could do if you're doing this, you could um, you could glue glue the pieces down. You know. All right. Now these do kind of curve this way. So, but oh, I forgot. I don't have my light on. Hello. Sorry about that. We could use it this way. It has a little bit, can you see the kind of detail in there? Or this way, what do you think? Which way should I go? Is that just filler glass? Yeah, oh no, 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 it's a, no, it's not too many questions. Yeah, it's just the filler glass from Michaels. This is the actual container it comes in too. I know, isn't it cute? Okay, right side up or, oh, you want to see the details? Okay, so we'll do it this way. And um, I think it kind of looks good this way. And you know what? I think I want to put a pearl in there. Let me grab, let me just grab my um, do jabbies. My do jabbies here. I want to put a pearl in there. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, come on. Cooperate. Okay, let me grab a pearl. Um, 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 um. Yes, look at that. Just one pearl, right? Just one. I'm tempted to put more, <laughs> but stop, stop it. Okay, so, um, I mean, how fun and easy was that? I need to flatten this down a little bit though. Okay, which causes more chaos, but we're dealing with it. Ah! So when you do yours, don't put quite as much as I did and you won't have the problemos that I'm having. Okay, I think we got it. Um, oh, no, is this, this is from Dollar Tree. I think it's plastic, but that's such a great point you're making. Thank you for that. You are absolutely right. If it's a real starfish, it will darken. I don't know where the lid it went for this. <laughs>
Mm. Should I put a few green things? No. See, there I go. There I go again. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. We're all set then, right? So I'm going to put this on risers and we're going to do the resin. So, um, <laughs> that's it. That's it. You know what? Let me put the lids back on these jars because I'm going to need this space over here. So who's completely new to resin? Anybody or have you all? Hey, Judy. Uh, I may have to make one of these. Yes, look how easy, right? And and Dollar Tree. Five quarter store. Um, oh, the Dollar Tree ones aren't real? Oh, really? Well, that's good for us then. Hopefully the resin will stick. <laughs> if you add any more. Yeah, I know, Michelle. I'm cramming it all on there, right? Okay. I'm getting this, and plus there's also these little shells and these cute little things. These are beads from Michael's, which are pretty cute. Oh, wrong way. That kind of has that Hawaiian vibe. And these are, these were strong beads for a necklace, believe it or not. You could, you could have these, this sort of thing on yours as well. Uh, I don't, you know, my Michael's is a little bit further, but I love looking at the Michael's jewelry um for ideas because they have i think they have really nice uh really nice jewelry at michael's okay and i mean strong beads when i'm talking about jewelry okay moving on so this will be the easy part now we're just going to pour our resin does this look good the way this is is this guy okay i think it's okay it's tilted just a little bit I think it's okay. All right, I need to I need to lift up. So what you need to do is um, you have to lift these tiles up off of your surface because otherwise they will glue themselves to the surface. <laughs> I've never done that, but that would not be fun, right? Hey, Celis, how are you? Okay, moving this back. Hopefully we're still on camera. Looks like we are. So these are glued down. Everything, actually the stars in the union part are not glued down. So, and I forgot about that today and one went flying. Okay, that, that, that. I like to leave a little bit of space in between in case I, I don't know, need to get in there somehow. And then we're just gonna lift this up. Well, this is kind of a rounded heart, but that's okay, right? Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, 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 how steady is my hand? <laughs> Not steady enough, apparently. Okay. Oh, lost one. Okay. And poor Jill was telling me that she could hear those black wing, um, what are they called again? The black wing birds that you hear right now? It made her homesick. She's from Wisconsin originally. So yeah, I'm in Southern Wisconsin and they are beautiful birds. They have a red tip to their wing. I forgot what they're called now, of course. I'm not uh, a, a bird aficionado in any way, that's for sure. But I do, I do like them. Except I don't like the ones that have eaten a hole in my screen. I've got several screens that they've eaten holes in. Isn't that terrible? Okay, I think, I think it's good enough. Of course, I'm saying that and I'm still messing with it. Okay. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Here. Let me just show you that one one more time. You know what I'll do? We'll go up a little bit higher and then hopefully everything will show, right? You can kind of see it. I should have moved it up higher. Okay, we gotta do our resin. <laughs> I'm just one of those people that can just blather on and on, right? can't see the resin process. Oh. 
All right, here we go. <laughs> so this might be kind of boring now, but what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna stir it one more time. And all we're gonna do is start pouring, I'm gonna work from left to right, I'm gonna start with this one. And um, you just wanna start drizzling this gradually on where you have your glass or beads or whatever, or shells mounted up the most so that it can drain down in between there and get in the little nooks and crannies and it acts like a beautiful glue. <laughs> That's what it is. Resin is beautiful glue. And uh, thank goodness it's finally warm enough here that my resin is not so thick that I can't drizzle it nicely. It's finally warmed up enough that uh, I don't have to do a hot water bath. A hot water bath would help when um, your resin isn't, when your resin is cold. And of course, by that, I don't mean literally cold, but I mean, you know, that it's so thick that it, that it's like, um, you guys remember K-Rose syrup? <laughs> well, actually, syrup's not bad. What's something that's thicker? Like almost too thick, that, like honey, like, old, you know, honey that's been around a while you just can't get it to pour out that's not good when your resin's like that it needs to be more like um, maple syrup okay so that's probably so I went all around the interior of the heart and I'm gonna let that be and let it drain and it'll kind of puddle out to the sides a little bit so I'm gonna move on to another one and start with this one And um, you could tape your sides. I like totally forgot to do that. <laughs> I can be so impulsive. I'm, I'm one of those people, I love starting projects. I just love the start. And I'm always starting a lot of new things. How about you, anybody else? Uh, any, anybody else with me on that? <laughs> I, bet, I bet we're all like that. Um, so I, I love start, I don't always follow through and finish things. Ugh. But um, I got so enthusiastic about this that I forgot to tape my sides. You could put like a blue painter's tape along the sides. So this one doesn't need as much resin. It's starting to really fill in. And um, to be honest, if you don't want to do the whole resin thing, I mean, I'm using resin that's made for art, so it doesn't smell, it's not hazardous, you know, it's, it's pretty good stuff. Um, and it has a UV inhibitor in it, so it won't yellow as quickly as other resins will, because all resins are not created equal, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, what was, I, what was the point I was gonna make? I don't remember. So yeah, I mean, this is an artist grade resin and uh, we don't have to worry about wearing a mask or, you know, that sort of thing. And it is user friendly and your art will love it because um, it's made for artists. A lot of the Tumblr community uses KS resin. <laughs> yes, there is a Tumblr community. <laughs> I'm sure you know what that means, right? How many people have a Tumblr? <laughs> I, I actually don't. I don't personally I, I'm not uh, I'm not really into the the you know getting a custom tumbler made. They are beautiful though I must admit I almost bought one a couple times. When you see them in person, they are so pretty. They really are pretty. So you have to kind of get get down and and really look, I just realized there's a couple of crevices that I didn't have it, I didn't have it on there. Okay, and here's our beachy one, here we go. Ooh. Oh, Charlie. No, Charlie, it's okay. Sorry, I know if, you're, if you have your dog at home listening, probably, your dogs are going crazy, sorry. Charlie, no. Quiet. No. There's all these new sounds, you know. 
lawn mowers and <coughs> weed whackers and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all kinds of crazy stuff. And Charlie is protecting me from all those crazy things. Wow, this really does look pretty. I'm really glad we added the glass, you guys. Um, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that bling. I just made that up. <laughs> no, that's not a new, that's, I, I mean, that's been around a while, right? Okay. Uh, almost done. So then I'm probably going to need to go back to my first one and check. And I got to bring the rest of the resin out to the outer edges on all of these. And I really don't need to pick up that starfish and put it underneath because it'll, it'll be, it will be glued down because it's completely encased in it. So I'm just going around putting this on the outer edges now. And I got plenty. So I made five ounces, FYI. And this, I think this is gonna be the perfect amount. I don't like to get nervous, especially on a live, about not having enough resin. I don't wanna to have to mix more resin. I'd rather have a little bit over, you know, and just put it in, you know, I have these little molds that I can pour my resin into to make some, some, little, some little something. Right now, I've been using my um, leftover resin to make octopus rings, because we're gonna be doing an octopus, um, actually, in June, this month. We're doing a turtle. The turtle class starts on the 15th, and then um, later in the month, I forget the date, we're doing the octopus. So um, I wanna do a really big octopus and put rings on it. And that's about all I know right now. I don't have it totally figured out, but that's okay. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> right? All right, let me walk around and make sure I've got enough on all of them before I start finishing them all off. And um, and then we're going to hit this with a heat gun and hopefully the resin will not run. Um, I mean the uh, alcohol ink that I use to color this stuff. Sometimes it will run. But, um, you know, as I was saying, I think even if that were to happen, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, it pr probably looked kind of cool on a ceramic tile. In fact, I did a painting like that once where um, I took, um, you know, I had painted stripes, I had painted a flag and then while it was wet, I used a spray bottle of water and made the stripes of paint run intentionally. And it actually looked really cool, you know. It was kind of like, you know, I mean, I'm very patriotic. I'm very pro USA. I wasn't trying to be negative at all, but Sometimes um, it kind of can send that message of, you know, the sadness that the country has gone through with different tragedies that have happened, you know, not to get political. <laughs> we don't get political in here at all, but I'm sure we can all relate to, to that, you know, some of the, some of the tragedies that we've, we've gone through that it just makes you want to cry, you know, and I think our... Our flag would cry for us if it could. I'm probably sounding really weird, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, so this is looking good. I got a lot of resin on here. I probably didn't quite need to put all this, but it's all good. And then I'm gonna hit this with my heat gun in just a second Lundo. And I got the heat gun on Amazon, or no, Actually, I have a backup heat gun that I bought on Amazon. The heat gun that I'm still using, it still hasn't died or anything. I actually got it from uh, Michael's. It's a, it's a, you know, a crafting heat gun. 
just a little spot here that I missed. If there's a couple spots on the edges that you missed, um, the heat gun will make the resin a little bit more, again, heat makes resin more like maple syrup, more moves more readily. So it'll, it'll kind of move the resin and spread out to those edges. All right, let me just wipe off my glove. And I'm gonna grab my heat gun. And we're, we're just about done. But um, I will, uh, I'm gonna post pictures of this tomorrow. But meanwhile, I wanted to let you know that uh, I don't really refer to it as the doors being open, but the doors are open <laughs> to my membership, The Painter's Journey. If you are looking for more direction and guidance and help, if you need help uh, coming up with ideas, painting better, you know, if you feel like, God, I just don't know what I'm doing. I want to get better. How do I get better? Find yourself a good instructor. And guess what? I'm a pretty good instructor. I've been doing it a while. I've been an artist my whole life. I really like sharing the whys and wherefores of um, what makes what makes a painting work and when you learn the principles of you know good design color color mixing everything works it carries over into everything you do and um that's what i do and i would love to help you with that so it's 29 a month we do two glass and resin projects and then we have one like teaching lesson i call it like learning a, uh, an important concept you know it might be about focal point it might be about um uh hard and soft edges it might be you know all kinds of things that you may not have ever thought about with your art that i will show you how once you understand these principles it makes all the difference in your work you know even a simple thing like focal point you know or contrast you know Contrast is a biggie. Gotta have contrast in your work to make it pop. You know, remember when we were doing this and we didn't have contrast on the outer edge and we, and we made the edges a little darker and it made all the difference. So that's just a, again, there's an example of a principle that you learn and it carries over into everything you do. So that's it. I think, oh my goodness, I think the beachy one is my favorite. <laughs> All right, so then if you see any little weird floaters or th things that shouldn't have been there, um, uh, I'm trying to look at the comments. You can get them out with a toothpick. So let me grab a toothpick super quick. I see Terry telling Shelly she's a really good person. Terry, you don't even know she is such a good person. Shelly is, is another angel that God brought to me. I mean, seriously. She, I just so blessed by Shelly's friendship and everyone in the group. You know, but Shelly, uh, Shelly's like my right hand. She really helps me a lot. All right, so I found a, a little piece of something, something, and I pulled it out with the toothpick, and it all looks good now. And I'm not really going to worry about the, the drips right now. I'm going to just let them be. I see a little spot right here that I missed. What you could do too, I know my head is in the way, sorry. My big old noggin. What you could do too is you could um, put a little flashlight, shine a flashlight and really scrutinize and look for any places that you might have missed and uh, make sure you've got resin on it. So let's look at the messages or the comments. <clears throat> So please, please, please share this with your friends. This is a cute little thing that anybody can do. And like I said, if you don't want to do the resin, I think that's what I was trying to say. If you don't want to do the resin, just use glue. Just glue it down and it's still really pretty. All right, let me see the comments. Um, uh, friend, oh, I'm so sorry, Terry. You know somebody that went to that school? Oh, no. Oh. So sorry. It really is impossible to understand. Uh, um, when are you putting alcohol ink on it? Oh, Vanessa, let me answer your question. So Vanessa, yeah, it was in the beginning. 
you can watch the beginning. And also you can watch last night's um, because that's when I, um, I probably, I think I went into just a little bit more detail about it last night. All right, I'm gonna take you guys out of the mount. So sorry for the uh, discombobulation for a second. Let me turn this the right way. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, and I'm gonna turn the camera around. The beach, I know, I love the beach one, right? Um, where's the turnaround symbol? <laughs> here it is. Okay. So here it is. Now you can really see it. Oh, my air is kick kicking on. Pretty, huh? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Vanessa. I'm glad you liked it. So here's this one with those little stars. Here's this one. And I mean, the resin just really, oh, I see a spot right here. I need a little bit more resin right there. Let's do that really quick. Right there. Kind of didn't get it on top of that star, but that's okay. So I can put it on now and that'll round out and look good in just a moment. And I'll hit it with the heat gun again. And then um, here's this one. So yeah, I mean, sometimes you just have to kind of scrutinize a little bit look at it from a different angle make sure you got everything covered and yeah we're good to go so then this has to sit here for um it'll be soft cured in um 12 hours what do i do about the sides um i'm not going to worry about the sides judy i should have taped them i mean i could just go along with my finger and do this right now and kind of coat those edges you know, I, maybe I will do that off camera. It's probably very boring to watch me do that. But you could certainly just go along the edges and spread that resin along the edges a little bit. The backs are covered with um, uh, cork. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. You know, and what you could do, you can come back in, in 45 minutes and check it again and pull off any, any more drips that are that are coming around the back. Whoa. So actually, yeah, that was just the right amount. I just have a tiny smidge left in there. Um, no, these are ceramic tiles, Joanne. These are um, six inch ceramic tiles from Home Depot. You can buy a whole box of them and they're, they work out to be, I mean, you can get them on clearance sometimes, but they work out to be about a, a, a dollar seventy-five a piece, I believe. The chunky glass piece too. Yeah, now I can't touch my camera because I have this going on. Oh. <laughs> oh, I really can't touch anything. So yeah, thanks for joining me, you guys. Please, please share this with friends when you share it. Um, you are helping me out, you're helping yourself out because you'll have it on your home feed to look at, to refer back to, and then you're also introducing new friends to the whole deal. And who wouldn't, who wouldn't love to learn how to make this? I mean, this would even be a really fun summer craft thing for, um, for kids for summer camp, right? Yeah! All right, you guys. Oh, I'm blocking the camera. <laughs> I just can't hold it right. I find the ceramic tiles for 10 cents. Oh my gosh. There you go. That's, that's way better. Holy cow, girl. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. The camera's too close to my face. Um, oh, there's a piece. There's an example of some of the work that we've done in the membership. And of course, um, what else should I show? Since I've got you. Hey, Christy, how are you, girl? Um, let's take you around. Oh, you know what? I still have this. <laughs> so these are more beads. These are actually beads from Hobby Lobby that I arranged. And uh, I just had a 30-day butterfly challenge. And you can still join that. And you can do your own 30-day butterfly challenge anytime you'd like. There's all kinds of inspirational um, and encouraging words in there. But here is our latest class, the betta fish. And this one was a super fun one to do. <laughs> oh, thank you, Christy. 
super, super fun one to do over there. We're gonna be heading into Splashy Summer. And right up there, that's a new addition. I bought that from um, uh, Jazzy's Treasures. I bought that one, the butterfly that she did. Um, it just got, I, I just got it today. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. <laughs> and there's my flag and that's my Monet bridge. Ah, so many pretty things. Anyway, you guys, I'm babbling. So I'm going to let you go. Oh, wrong way. Oh, wrong way again. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. Uh, if you have any questions about the membership, if you'd like to join us, we'd love to have you. I have a direct link to the PayPal subscription. It renews every month and it's only $29. Um, you did the Monet last year. Oh, that's right, Vanessa. Yay, thank you for saying that. That's so sweet of you. All right, I'm going to let you guys go now. I'm going to go have some dinner and I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for being here. Talk to you later. Uh, thanks for saying that, Shelly. Thank you. Okay, bye, guys. I gotta get these gloves off. Bye. Finish. How am I gonna do it when I got resin on my fingers? There we go.